We're Pam and Gilbert of Two Bikes for Adventure. If you've watched any of our touring videos, you may have caught a glimpse of Gilbert working on our bikes, often changing a tire on the side of the road. Although our Bromptons are reliable machines, there are a few things that can go wrong. And through the years, we have sometimes found ourselves far from a repair shop when a mechanical problem occurred. In order to deal with these situations, we make sure to always have a minimalist repair kit with us. Whether we're on a multi-week tour on another continent, or just pedaling over to the grocery store near home. In keeping with our travel light philosophy, Gilbert has put a lot of thought and trial and error into keeping our tool and parts kit as light as possible, while making sure that it's capable of coping with the most common problems that we might face. Because we're not spending long months or years on the road, we can sometimes get away with doing a quick job that will hold together for a day or two until we can manage a more permanent fix. However, another consideration is that specific replacement parts for a Brompton may be difficult to find depending on our location, so flexibility is important. The most flexible tool for us has proved to be a bicycle multi-tool. Although there are many options, we need one with a 15mm wrench to remove a Brompton wheel. The first option is the Brompton Toolkit. It includes that essential 15mm socket wrench, as well as a reversible action ratchet with four double-sided bits and 10 and 8 millimeter wrenches that also double as tire levers. And bonus, it slips into the bike's mainframe for easy storage. The disadvantage is the price, expensive. An excellent alternative is the turn tool at about half the price. In addition to various wrenches and keys, it offers chain breaker and spoke adjustment tools that the Brompton Toolkit doesn't have. Plus, its open 15 millimeter wrench configuration enables it to remove pedals, something the Brompton Toolkit cannot do. Both tools are excellent. If you go for the Brompton tool, you may want to add a Park Tool CT5 chain breaker or the Topic Ninja chain breaker to your repair kit. The Ninja can be stored inside your handlebar. To easily reconnect a damaged chain, we use quick release chain links, also known as connecting links. The inevitable rain showers quickly strip the lubrication on the drivetrain. We have been caught without oil on more than one occasion when we didn't want to carry a large container that could leak in transit. Once in desperation, we drained a few drops from a bottle of motor oil discarded in a roadside ditch. Finally, we discovered an oil vial that was small enough and secure enough for our needs. And we now decant a small quantity of oil and always have it handy. Probably the most vulnerable part of the bike is its tires. And the most frequent problem is a flat. After many side of the road tube repairs and replacements, we have switched to Schwalbe Marathon tires and will never go back. But we still carry two spare tubes, as well as an emergency tire boot kit, a patch kit, and a spare tire. Because Brompton sized tires are not often stocked in regular bike shops, carrying a spare is not a luxury. We mount ours on the front of Gilbert's front baggage. A pump is essential for regular maintenance as well as repairs. And most airlines insist that bicycle tires be deflated for transport. We can and have argued that this is not necessary, as only a 3% increase in tire pressure would occur at cruising altitude, but we have not yet won that battle and do partially deflate them. This means we have to reinflate all tires when we arrive, usually in the airport arrival lounge. We find that a pump like the Filzer Mini Rodi is ideal. It is compact, the footrest converts it to a mini floor pump, the hose minimizes the risk of damaging the valve, and the inline pressure gauge reduces guesswork. So much easier to work with than, for example, the Brompton z -Fal pump. Vibration in buses or cars may loosen the Brompton's folding clamps. To avoid losing any, we tighten them when we fold the bikes, plus we keep a spare clamp in our kit. We also bring a few front and rear wheel spokes and a set of brake pads. An alternative to spokes is the Fiberfix Emergency Spoke Replacement Kit, a type of Kevlar wire that can fit any spoke. The Fiberfix benefit is that you don't have to remove the cassette, when replacing a rear right side spoke. Small pliers can be useful for cable maintenance and extracting foreign objects from tires. For many years, we carried a Leatherman Skeletool. We used it daily for our picnic lunches, but it was impractical as a bike tool. Furthermore, the holes in the knife blade got gummed up easily with food particles. We switched it out for a much smaller Leatherman style PS, bonus it's TSA compliant, along with a Swiss Army picnicker knife. This winning configuration saves weight, cleans up easily, and includes a corkscrew. Some consumable items that are incredibly versatile for both bike and non-bike repair jobs include duct tape, reusable tie wraps, metal wire, and nitrile gloves. We always have some with us. 
Of course, before we set out on any tour, we check our bikes thoroughly, paying particular attention to tires, brake cables, brake pads, chain, and headset. We hope that our touring videos show you the fun of traveling by bike without being weighed down with maintenance and repair requirements.